Hi, everyone. My name is Anitria Cohen. I'm Senior Manager of Education Services at Century Advisors. And I wanted to talk to you about the FFIC APR tool. This tool is a government tool. It's free. It's on a website. Um, it is a tool that examiners, auditors, consultants, you all can use as well, um, simply to validate um, certain disclosures, um, specifically the truth and lending statement, the closing disclosure. There could be other things we could be looking at as well, but those are going to be the primary ones um, and focusing on a lot of the material disclosures that we see. Um, so it's really quite nice that the government uh, gives this, <laughs> this, this tool that we can use. So we highly encourage institutions out there um, to use it um, to double check. Double check your disclosures, um, double check and make sure that your software is doing what it's supposed to be doing. All right, so go to ffic.gov. That's going to be the homepage uh, for the FFIC. Makes sense, right? So uh, ffic.gov. And as we take a look at this uh, page, on the left-hand side, we have a ton of links. I'm going to go ahead and select the computational tools link. That's going to take us to APR tool and APY. I'm going to go ahead and select the APR tool. So simply, the idea is that you take a disclosure, right? Choose the lending statement, closing disclosure as applicable, and you just take information off of that disclosure and you put that information into this website, um, and it double checks it, right? So we're going to do it super quick. I'm just going to make something up here. Um, so first slide, uh, our first page here is going to be pretty easy. doesn't really matter. Um, you can put information. Now, let me just go ahead and um, point out this drop down here. Uh, we've got different options. We've got regular military. That's going to be the Military Lending Act, um, specifically the MAPR. So that's going to be a different set of rules, but it's kind of nice that this APR tool also would check for that. Um, you can check for both regular and military at the same time. It's possible for us to have a transaction subject to both at the same time, of course. So if you wanted to check for both of those rules at the same time, go ahead and select that. Construction loans are weird <laughs> in a lot of ways. We have the possibility of Appendix D, so that's going to be a different option. So I'm just going to go ahead today and select regular. And I'll also, I'll also assume that this is a closing disclosure. And again, all that we are doing is taking information from that closing disclosure and putting it over here. Um, I went ahead and pre-populated some of this information. Again, I'm just making these numbers up. <laughs> I, I, I did a quick amortization, um, you know, just to see the, the amount and everything. But you'll see, I'm making this up. But just loan amount, amount finance. APR, finance charge, total of payments, the type, typically that's going to be an installment loan. Now, please be careful with the payment frequency, frequency, making sure that you are selecting the correct. Um, so that's going to be based on your accrual method. And let me just say real quick on the next, uh, on the next page, as we go to the next page, um, interest accrual make sure that you are selecting the correct information um, uh, based on your documents on that one, okay? Um, again, all we are doing is simply just putting information. I'm just making stuff up here. Um, I'm not going to put in mortgage insurance um, just because it's easier for me. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to continue just to put numbers. All right, so let's say 6%. All right, so I'm just putting in numbers. So again, theoretically, what you're doing is taking your disclosure and filling in this information. There are a couple of points that are kind of interesting, and this is one of them. Um, when we get to unit periods and odd days, it's not obvious what that means. I highly encourage you guys, um, if you'll notice up here on the right-hand side, there is that help link. Um, so if you go into the help link, what it does is give you just, as you can see, this listing of just information. And so if you want to know, well, what is an odd, what is an odd day? What is, what is that, <laughs> right? Um, what is a unit period? What do these things mean? Go to that help function and 
they're going to give you additional information, odd days, for example. It gives you an example right here. And and I think um, looking at this help, looking at this glossary and explanation is, is very helpful, hopefully, um, as we are completing this information. So I went ahead and put that information in, continued, no odd days, and we get the results. And you'll see here, <laughs> I made up an example where I have partial non-compliance. So this would be important for us to know. There we go. Let us know if you have any questions and we look forward to uh, talking with you.